Hey guys, so before we start the video, I have put a freelance services link that I provide in the description of this video and you can basically go and check them out. So let's start. Hey guys, so today we are going to discuss about a really great website. It's the website name is mysitemapgenerator.com and uh, there's a feature on this website that is RSS generator. Now, before we go any further, let's talk about what is a RSS and what is an RSS and how it works, All right? So RSS is a type of XML code, which is basically used to synchronize your posts, synchronize your content with where people can basically get, get your uh, content immediately. You know they can get it in a form of a notification now there are many services which use rss like google feed google news to be specific google news all right so in google news they use rss if you have ever submitted your blog or your website on google news you know all right so now there are many automation tools automation tools which use rss feed for curate content so now to create any rss feed you can do it here for free there are sitemap generator google shopping feeds so this is this is what i was talking about these feeds you can use them for feeds too because rss is in very simple terms it's an xml code now let me just show you for clopostore.com or let me just get a domain i i have done a previous test here so it's just here go to creation here sign four four so that's creating rss feed so rss feed is used for many different purposes if you guys don't know there is a plugin called wp automatic for wordpress which use rss feed to basically create automatic content i will show you guys that plugin in a future video because this this is a whole video on its own but you can do a google search for wp automatic there are many people who you guys may may or may not know about auto blogging auto blogging or auto content whatever you call it this is what they use for create those automatic blogs but the thing is those automatic blogs never ever rank on google i mean you will get some traffic but uh, the biggest problem is all the content will be plagiarized and i totally totally will not recommend you guys to use that all right do not reuse these plugins now it is good if you just uh, want to do something like uh, you want to scrape content but not publish it rewrite it yourself and then publish it so at least it will be you know it will be something original about it because they just this or this plugin just copy and paste right i can show you wp automatic okay so now it's on now this this is the link for our rss and this is the feed right so it basically took all the products and stuff and some posts and whatever from the website and you got it all right so here you go when i paste it all right so this is this is how it looks this is how it looks but in real for real it is just a simple xml so let's see if we get the xml file yeah here you go this is how rss documents look it's a it's an xml file let me just open it see if it works okay so it's not working here but it's a, it's an xml file which you can basically test if you want to but this is a free place where you can create rss feeds for your wife website or blog and then create a very simple you know place where you can synchronize your feeds and people can get it now there are rss feeds for podcasts uh, and different things and i will be showing in the future how to use it for your blogs and to create high level of you know high amount of content and then basically rewrite it in a proper way and get some you know good revenue out of it and uh, wp automatic is a very big part of creating automatic blogs and if you don't use wp automatic that's okay too because there is one more tool where you can use these rss feeds like let's say rss auto blog right let's see so these are the plugins so let me just show you and uh, this is a very famous website 
Fidzi and I have used Fidzi many times, many, many times. So I can tell you this is, this is the plugin and it's really easy to use. These, these are the plugins which basically people use to create automatic content. Look here, there you go, auto blog, import, unlimited RSS and all that. WP automatic is also a very good plugin. The WordPress automatic plugin, I think it is the same one. But in any case, you can use these plugins to create automatic blog posts for your website. But always remember, do not publish it directly. Use it. And I will be giving you a tutorial in the future for how to use WP automatic, where to get it properly. And uh, you can basically how to configure it and create an auto blog for yourself. All right. So that's all for today. Thank you.